Um, there, this is for supporting salacious sound. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Try getting more. Growing up, my favorite band was the Ramones, so I listened to a lot of them from like when I was like 12 to like 14. And then listened to the Beatles pretty much solely until I was 17. I started listening to dance music, and dance music, I'd say my influence is probably the Chemical Brothers, and you know, there's other ones, but like I had to pick one to take on an island, you know, how to spin for me every night, the Chemical Brothers. Like a year ago, I opened up for uh, Kill the Noise, like locally at a club in Costa Mesa called Ten. It's just, it wasn't like a huge deal, it was a couple hundred people. The vibes were right, and like my set was on, and like just everything kind of added up like a little bit better than it usually does. And I left that night like pretty fucking amped. I still get amped thinking about it. Uh, like frustration with like 10% inspiration on a good day. Uh, I don't know, my, my workflow, it, it's very, it's very funny, you know, it's probably a lot like yours, you know, like, you know, you just w waging war against your computer, you know, and then, you know, some, some days you get it and it pretty much just is me and my computer and, and logic and some soft synths, you know. Yeah, man, uh, Rob Pape and Sub Boom Bass, things of the shit. I did a tune called U.S. Bass Anthem that got released on a Canadian blog called uh, 110 BPM and people seem to like it and uh, I don't know why I got the idea, maybe someone asked me to do a, like a rework for it and I actually took that track that I made and went back to the studio, spent a day on it, like the best quick, the best tracks always come out in a day by the way, like, you just know exactly what you're doing and I did a, a VIP or a, like a re-edit. I'm sure everybody knows what a VIP is, but did a VIP of this track called U.S. Space Anthem. So it's called the U.S. Space Anthem VIP, and that's my favorite track I've ever done. Me? No, everybody's got to say that, right, dude? Um, <laughs> that's, I mean, come on. Um, I think I think breaks are coming back, man. Yeah. Breaks are coming back in a big way, Dan. Fucking, mm -hmm. you, like, boop, boop, boop. That's it, dude. Like, I've been out and I felt it, but like. Dude, breaks are just like, they throw you around, dude. You're up, you're down, dude. They're low, they're mean, they don't give a fuck. They'll sleep with you and not call you the next day, dude. Breaks 2013. Get some more tunes out there. Um, winter time is kind of a time to just be in the studio and like, kind of work shit up, you know? Like, just kind of hibernate. Don't play as much in the winter. And then hopefully just have all the tunes that I'm working on right now done by springtime and when the festivals come around like have some sick shit to play you know well, there's always good parties going on in the summer so I'll be there and my teams will be there too and they'll just be fucking awesome shout outs yeah sure I'd like to thank Justin Ruiz Mike Tunney from Clabber Media for being such angels and letting us use their space for a studio and uh and Ruka for giving me clothes and uh, Salacious Sound for being the best blog on the internet. <laughs> <laughs>